Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in on this video. So in this video I'll be explaining you how I did the cords rowing seat for uh, my friend's whale boat who is building boats and so on. So the molds were made by him. So it's a vinyl ester mold I think with fiberglass reinforced. Uh, it was it was waxed five times, so don't forget to wax your mold or your parts won't be coming out of your mold. So um, the first layer uh, in this project would be the gel coat. So I'm using the GC50 gel coat from Easy Composites, and uh, the biggest thing is it's compatible with um, polyester and epoxy resins. So I'll be infusion infusing an epoxy resin on top of this one so you just add some Mac P hardener so uh, just like you would do with polyester the cool thing is it's very runny and it's very easy to apply it might be better to apply it with a gel coat spray gun but I have it laying around but I haven't used it yet so it would be for a next tutorial or something so this is the result you'll get so it's like a bit of orange peel but it's the surface on the side of the mold that's the most important so if everything is covered that's the most important thing so here if you're a bit of a newbie with composites so this is um, some tacky tape I'll be using so tacky tape you can find in different shapes and uh, from different manufacturers I'm using uh, the easy composites uh, tacky tape mostly at the time but here I was running out of tacky tape so I'm using another one as well so what I'm doing here is I'm taping off um, a flange uh, with some painter's tape. Um, so I'll be able to clean uh, just that part to be sure that the deck tape will have a good bond because the entire mold uh, was applied with some release agents. So this is just to show you how strong this tape is so it's very tacky just like the name says and it's very hard to recover from errors so if you're uh, making pleats and so on it will give you an error it will be difficult to correct so here I'm using a technique where I'm just applying straight lines and cutting in between some people prefer to uh, make rounded curves um, with a continuous tacky tape but I'm just like to cut them and just stick them onto each other so here for the first layer I'm using uh, a carbon fiber 650 grams 12k so um, 12,000 weaves per strand so uh, to cut everything it's very handy to have a good pair of scissors here I'm using the easy composite scissors uh, normally they are made for Kevlar and Aramid so it's just the same in fact um, but you're able to use them as well for carbon fiber so I've just had to cut some pleats out so um, here's some overlapping now I'm backing everything with a 200 gram square meter fiberglass twill weave as well um, it's always handy to have some templates like you can see here um, now I'm just adding the peel ply and then I'm using the easy flow netted infusion mesh from easy composites as well so just like you can see here it's very easy to uh, 3d shape this mesh just to prevent some bridging so bridging is where you have some gaps in between um, the molds and the laminate so that will give you some air bubbles and dry spots mostly so here I'm adding the resin out channel so the resin in will be in the middle um, it's just a spiral tube all around the molds just to be sure to have an even vacuum all around the part so then I'm using some uh, don't know how to call it but just I, I add some tacky tape to have some uh, nice pleats and be able to uh, have a tight um, match with the mold on the inside so here are some calculations I will make I will make a video um, about how to make a resin calculation so here I'm aiming for 300 grams so in fact you divide 130 by 13 and multiply it by 30 um, this is with the um, 
easy composites infusion resin where you have mixing ratios of 100 added with 30 grams of hardener so I make sure before I am infuse to have a perfect vacuum mostly I wait like around five hours do a vacuum drop if everything is okay I'm sure to infuse so here is the uh, resin system I'm using so I'm using the easy composites infusion resin so like you can see it's 30% of hardener um, no it's not 30% it's you add 30 to 100 um, so if you are mixing 100 of A you add 30 if you mix 200 of A you add 60 of B so here is the infusion uh, everything went well uh, just like scheduled um, a nice and even flow so I've just closed a bit of the uh, resin in just to control the speed of the infusion so here you can see some bubbles are coming out um, you can drain them out by just leaving some time and let the infusion resin run through the catch pot so here I'm just removing all the tacky tape so this was the first step so there are many more steps to come um, you can see the silicon infusion connector is reusable you can remove it and use it again so this is when the peel ply is removed just like you can see I had a little struggle to remove everything um, but I'm ready for the next layer here you can see I'm just I've I'm not gonna cheat I've demolded the part firstly then I've trimmed the edges um, put it back in put it out just to show you what the result was because I forgot to shoot that shot um, now I'm put putting it back in um, just taping off all the edges to make sure no resin will flow under the part again so um, here I'm adding the no mix honeycomb so this is what it looks like it's very lightweight um, it will take some 3d shapes and so on and um, make the parts so much stronger so um, here you can see I'm just adding a layer of epoxy resin so now I'm going to glue that onto the part first before continuing so I'm using some um, bagging film with some breather and then everything will go under vacuum and I make sure there's a perfect fit everywhere just to prevent bridging once again so once um, everything is cured after 24 hours um, like here you can see the honeycomb will be stuck onto the 3d shape of that rowing seat so here we can remove everything the vacuum film is uh, self-releasing and as you can see here everything is bonded well onto the parts uh, you want to do so here I'll be adding some fire glass on top of it to seal everything from the top so it's it's a bit of a funny way to do the layup maybe you'll understand how it was done so um, fire glass is added on top with it out with uh, laminating resin uh, from easy composites as well um, then I'm adding the peel ply perforated film and breeder so um, if everything of this is a bit too complicated for you um, don't worry uh, this is just like you would do some regular vacuum bagging so everything will go under vacuum again uh, remove it back out uh, out of the bag so I can remove the perforated film the peel ply and I'm left with a sealed honeycomb um, in between the carbon fiber and fiberglass now on top so this will make sure for the next layers if I'm doing an infusion or uh, in this case I will vacuum bag it again um, this once again with a 650 carbon fiber um, 12 weave um, no resin will sink into the honeycomb so now there's just air in between the honeycomb and that's what you're aiming for because you want the part to be as light as possible and have the strength of the honeycomb so this is the third 
um, bagging time so the first one was an infusion second one um, was the bonding of the honeycomb then we had the bonding of the fiberglass on top and now we're with the fourth even um, layer coming on top just to have the uh, strength of the carbon fiber on the backing layers so here you can see the resin is bleeding out all the excess resin will go into the breeder that will be removed at the end so here I'm removing the bag once again so just to illustrate all of this was done in one week of time so it will take a lot of time it will be very time consuming to make such parts uh, probably it won't be budget friendly if you're aiming to sell some uh, because it's very labor intensive uh, but if you're making like formula one cars um, space stuff um, student cars and so on remote control parts this is probably the best way to make strong and light parts so here is the results I hope you enjoyed that video so in the next video I will show you how to do no mix with pre brick it's way faster to do and um, check out the Iron Man video thanks for watching if you like my videos and want to see more please subscribe you can just click on the YouTube icon um, also check out my Facebook page um, during the projects I mostly post some pictures in between so if you can't wait for the next tutorials and so on just give my page a like